Some 1,360 Russian soldiers were killed during intense fighting over the past 24 hours, bringing the total number of Russia's military losses to 618,960 people since the start of Russia's full-fledged invasion of the country more than two years ago. The intense fighting on the front line took place across border areas of Sumy and Chernihiv regions, the general staff of Ukrainian armed forces reported on its Tuesday briefing. The most affected areas were the settlements of Karpovichy, Pokrovka, Porozok, Dmitrivka, Sopik, Bobolivka, Velika Pisarivka and Boyaro Lazachi, the general staff stated. A total of 175 combat clashes occurred along the front lines in Ukraine on September 2. The general staff also revealed Russia's heavy losses in terms of military equipment over the past day. Thus, defense forces of Ukraine destroyed 10 Russian tanks, 35 armored combat vehicles, 18 artillery systems, 36 operational tactical UAVs, 21 cruise missiles, 47 vehicles and fuel tanks, 9 special equipment during the hostilities yesterday. Russia has not revealed its combat losses in the war in Ukraine. However, according to General Staff of Ukrainian Armed Forces, Russia's combat losses amount to over 616,000 troops as of September 1. Russians who were unable to escape the Ukrainian offensive in the Kursk region and remained in Sudza are now forced to rethink their attitude to the Russian invasion of Ukraine. This is what the Times writes in a report from the Russian border town. The head of the Ukrainian military civil administration, Sudza, told journalists that at the time of the establishment of Ukrainian control, about 600 people remained out of the 5,000 strong population in the town, mostly elderly or immobile. Many people are in basements, cellars, hiding. They are not communicating. Perhaps people are still in some houses. They stayed here because there was no evacuation. This guy here, the soldier said, pointing to a middle-aged man who was loading humanitarian aid onto his shoulder, just showed up looking for food. He was in his basement for the last three weeks and just came out. Overall, Russians who suddenly found themselves under occupation are filled with a sense of shock and betrayal as they had no idea that Russia's war against Ukraine would change their lives so dramatically. Thus, the Ukrainian invasion came as a shock to 42-year-old Andrei. He claims that he allegedly did not even know that there was a war going on in Ukraine, that it was going far beyond the Donbass, which Russian television constantly talks about. I didn't think about the war at all. It was happening many kilometers away in another country. What did it have to do with us? A Russian woman named Galina admitted to the British journalist. Now the woman, along with her 17-year-old granddaughter Yuliana, is forced to spend the night in the basement of a boarding school where other civilians are hiding. Another manifestation of the new reality for Russians is the photographs of Ukrainian cities destroyed by Russians which are plastered around the pedestal of the destroyed Lenin monument in the center of Sudza. I don't understand this war at all. Ukrainians have always been our brothers. We have believed in this all our lives. We have never felt hostility and this war is incomprehensible to us. We did not want this war. We want everything to be like before, says a middle-aged woman named Elia whom the journalist met when she was pulling a cart with humanitarian aid from the new Ukrainian authorities here. However, the middle-aged woman who is the head of the village was skeptical about what she saw. I didn't know Russian troops had reached Kyiv. There's something like that in Belgorod too. She insisted as images of destruction flickered on the screen. At the same time, the woman does not hide the fact that she would like to see a speedy return to the Kremlin's control. This will soon end, and we will return the Soviet Union. But what if Sudza remained under Ukrainian rule? I will go to Russia, she said.
Жесть. Капец, как горит. Я слышу, пожарки едут.